<laughs> That's so funny. It's the exact same deck as I have. Alright, I have nothing in there. Let us drop an energy down there. Let's trekking shoes. Uh, yeah, I'll put that in my hand. Let's go ahead and drop that down there. Let's battle VIP. Let's grab uh, my last two soul rocks. Let's go ahead and professors research this. Let's go ahead and conceal. <laughs> I won the mirror. Hey, hey trainers, what's up? Welcome back to the lab. How you doing today? Today's video, I got something for you and I'm I'm really sad that I have to tell you about this, but it's it's too strong and too much fun not to. And you've probably seen it if you've been playing the versus ladder lately. That's right. We are looking at the Soul Rock Lunatone deck. I was not looking forward to making this video, but as I started playing the deck, I get why people like it. It is so much fun. I gotta be a plague on the versus ladder. I was the plague, all right. <laughs> it was so good. I was a little lab rat spreading my little Soul Rock Lunatone plague around, and you can do that too. But before we do get into the video, if you do like content like this, make sure to hit that like button. It does help it out. If you hate this, if you do not like it, hit that dislike button. Let me know. Be like, yo, bro, your face is stupid and I hate you. Hit that dislike button. Do it. You won't. And if you want to see more from me, I'll make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's that big red one down there in case you don't know what a subscribe button is or don't know where it is. It's just down there. Just, just hit it. Uh, we broke 400 subscribers. What? I know. That's crazy. Let's go. Two and a half months in, 400 subscribers. I was expecting to be at a, uh, like, like 75 at this point. So thank you guys for enjoying the content and letting me know, liking it. If you did not know that at a thousand subscribers, we are doing a booster box giveaway. So please stick around for that. Help me hit a thousand before my 30th birthday in August. So we're really close. We got about a month to get there. 600 extra subscribers. We can do it. Tell your friends. If you ever want to chat with other like-minded people about Pokemon or just anything in general, we do have a Discord. Uh, swing by. We'd love to see you. We have a, a decent time there when people start talking. People have been talking. It's been cool. I was not expecting that to happen, to be honest with you. <laughs> Anyways, with all that out of the way, let's just uh, get right into this deck, shall we? Okay, here we are, Soul Rock Lunatone, okay? Now this deck, I like it a lot, but it's a plague right now. This is the plague of the ladder right now. So I wanna teach you exactly what makes it so terrifying. So let's start off with our main attacker. It is Lunatone, okay? For one psychic energy, he gets cycle draw. Discard a card from your hand. If you do, draw three cards. And then for three colorless energy, he has Moon Kinesis. This attack does 30 more damage for each Psychic Energy attached to this Pokemon. We are not running any Twin Energies in this deck, only Psychic Energies. So, it's not doing 30 damage, this is doing 120 damage for 3 energy. That is great, that is so good for a basic 90 HP, 1 prize card. That is insane. And you can hit even more if you keep putting more energies on it. And energies, we are never worried about discarding energies, all right? Because of his buddy Soul Rock. We are not attacking with this. This sits on your bench. This lives on your bench. This dies on your bench. Sun Energy. Once during your turn, you may take an energy card from your discard pile and put it onto one of your Lunatone. <laughs> so if you have three of these on your bench in one turn, your Lunatone is charged up from your discard pile alone, hitting for 120. If you also then attach an energy from your hand, hitting for 150. Choice belt 180 for four energy. What is going on with this deck? How do we get those energies from our hand into the discard though? Well, there's a couple ways. We got Radiant Green Ninja with concealed cards. Throw an energy in the discard, grab two, slap that energy from the discard onto your, your Lunatone with the Soul Rocks ability. Other ways to get these energies into the discard, Quick Balls. You quick ball, even if you don't need any Pokemon, you quick ball, you push done, you put the, you basically it's just a free discard of an energy. Another way to get energies into your discard, Pokestop. 
So this is a stadium we're bringing. You discard the top three cards from your deck, and if any of them are item cards that go into your hand, everything else stays in the discard. So if you pull a quick ball, a rescue carrier, and an energy, the energy's discarded, and the quick ball and the rescue carrier are in your hand. That's another way to get your energies into the discard pile, to get your soul rock with sun energy, to attach the psychic energy to Lunatone, to hit for big damage. That's what you're trying to do with this deck, and it works surprisingly well. I did not think it would go this smoothly. We're also bringing a Manaphy just for bench protection because we need to keep these Soul Rocks alive. Take or leave this card, you don't need to bring it. I like to have it just in case I'm against like Rapid Strike Urshifu, but I haven't seen very many of him lately. Plus you're hitting Rapid Strike Urshifu for weakness. Take it or leave it, I take it personally. I like Manaphy. Now we're bringing four Battle VIP passes. With this deck, you want to go second, which gives you a much better chance of drawing into one of these four Battle VIP passes. We all know what it does. You get to take two basic Pokemon and slap them onto your bench. So you can, if you have a Lunatone out, you get two battle VIP passes your first turn, you can get both, all four of your soul rocks out, or you can get three soul rocks and your Radiant Greninja. I prefer not to put all four soul rocks out. I prefer to have three soul rocks, a Radiant Greninja, and a Lunatone on the bench, just so I can charge up the second one while the first one's attacking. We're bringing one escape rope in case we get in a sticky situation, but the thing is with this deck is everything has one retreat cost. So even though if you have to attach the energy from your hand onto that Pokemon to retreat it, to put it in the discard, Soul Rock can then slap that onto your Lunatone with Sun Energy, very strong. Bringing two Hisuian Heavy Balls because I don't leave home without it. They're bringing one Pal Pad, four Quick Balls because we are running only basics in this deck, so we don't really need anything else. We're running three Rescue Carriers. If you don't like the Pal Pad, I would suggest dropping it for Rescue Carrier. If you don't want the Mana Fee, I suggest dropping it for Rescue Carrier because your Lunatones will go down. You only have four. But with the Rescue Carriers, you can take two Pokemon, two Pokemon with 90 HP or less from your discard into your hand. So you have one Lunatone out, you have one on the bench. Your first Lunatone goes down, discard. Second Lunatone goes down, discard. Rescue Carrier, both Lunatones back into your hand, back on the bench, retreat your Soul Rock or whatever that was out for the Lunatone, charge it back up with Soul Rock, and you're hitting again. Oh my god, I love this deck. Four Scoop Up Nets. So, Scoop Up Net is to get things out of the way. You can also, if you only have two Soul Rocks down and one Scoop Up Net in your hand, you can Sun Energy, Sun Energy, Scoop Up Net one of the Soul Rocks, and use Sun Energy again. You do the same thing with Radiant Greninja. If you want to draw more cards, you can Scoop Up Net the Radiant Greninja, and you can put them down again and use Concealed Cards another time so you can discard two energies for four cards that's good to do you got trekking shoes you look at the top card of your deck if you like the card you put it in your hand so if you want energy to attach take it if you get an energy throw in the discard take the next card if you just don't want the card that it gives you throw in the discard take the next card we love trekking shoes it helps you get through your deck to the cards that you actually need by the way this design i'm just noticing looks a lot like co on the new legendary for Scarlet and Violet. It's, I'm just saying, it look, Jagged, I don't know, man. Uh, it, it, that's what it looks like to me. Three Pokesops, as I said, discard the top three cards from your deck. Any item cards go into your hand, the rest stay in the discard. We are bringing two bosses orders in case when you want to snipe certain Pokemon. One Bruno, because we will be losing Pokemon left and right. One Cynthia's Ambition, because we will be losing Pokemon left and right. We are bringing four Professor's Researches, of course. We are bringing three choice spells, and we are bringing 13 psychic energies to get those Lunatones pumped. Okay, that is the deck. But first, let's go get into a few matches to see the power of these two rocks. And in case he gets an escape rope, I'm not putting out my soul rock. He has the exact same deck as I do, pretty much, except with the Mewtwo V. I wonder why he has a Mewtwo V. That's very strange. Soul Rock, Trekking Shoes. Uh, yeah, put that in my hand. Go ahead and grab that. Pokestop. Go ahead and hit the Pokestop. We got a Scoop Up Net. Okay, we do not have enough. Um, Psychics in the discard, unfortunately, to uh, actually make anything happen that turn. But I mean, we're doing okay. We're hitting for knockout next turn. What does he lose? Some good things. He lost some good things there. We have another Lunatone. So we can start charging up our second Lunatone. 
Like he pal pads the Marnie. Okay. Uh-huh. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and Sun Energy this Lunatone. That's pretty much all I can do. Hit that. We haven't really lost anything of importance yet. We'll just knock it out with Moon Kinesis. Alright. Super, er, super good. Okay. So I'm looking for my Radiant Greninja or one more Soul Rock. One more Soul Rock would be good. Got two in there. So this is charged up next turn. I need to hit 220. So with three, I'm hitting 120. With four, I'm hitting 150. Five is 180. And six is 210. So I need seven energies on one Lunatone to knock out. Or six in a choice spell. It's going to be a little bit harder to knock out now. Uh, boss's order. Okay, let's uh, Hisuian Heavy Ball and see what we get. Absolutely nothing. Okay, that's totally fine. Let's go ahead and drop an energy there. Let's go ahead and Sun Energy. We're just going to charge this thing up as hard as we can. Actually, I have do I have any more in here? I don't, so that would be a waste. Okay, I don't really care about that. Boss's order, don't really need that. Let's scoop up net the Soul Rock to play the Soul Rock to do another Sun Energy. So we're hitting seven, seven damage. We're hit two forty. All right, only 40 HP left. We can take it out with this Lunatone if this one goes down. Not a big deal. We are fine. This card to three does 90 damage. So you have to discard at least one energy. So where's this Lunatone's at? There it is. Starts charging up the Lunatone. Maybe he'll pull it back and strike the Lunatone. If he does that, I think that's fine. Because this is an issue. He did 90 damage. Okay, not a problem. I think I get that one's combo now. Okay, not bad. Okay. Let's quick ball the battle VIP for a uh, another Lunatone, because I need another Lunatone now. I don't really have the uh, luxury to wait around for it. And luckily, we don't need to do much else here. We can just do that, and then we can just do this, and then we can Poke Stop real quick. We got a Choice Belt as well. We can just put the choice spell on the back one, and then we can just go ahead and hit for Moon Kinesis. Take it out. It's an easy 120 damage. Very nice. Alright. Another choice spell. Cool. Oh, and we get one more. Alright. And Rescue Carrier. Nice. So, when this Lunatone goes down, we can Rescue Carrier two more into our hand. I'm actually going to wait on the Rescue Carrier. I'm going to Poke Stop first, I think. He has energies in there, so he's not really worried about energies right now. Alright, that Lunatone now has Knockout. Alright, he gets a Quick Ball. Let's see what he Quick Balls. He Quick Balls a Mewtwo. I think that's good for us, right? Three energies in there. We still have a way to uh, get a Lumaton out right away. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and rescue carrier uh, both my Lunatones. We're gonna go ahead and throw them on the bench. Actually, we'll just throw one on the bench. We'll Sun Energy you. We will Sun Energy you. So this is charged up. This one isn't. Let's Poke Stop. We got trekking shoes. What did I lose? Anything important? Not really. Let's trekking shoes. 
Battle VIP, I do not want that. It's a dead card, and I got another Professor's. Hmm. Interesting. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, uh, Palpad the Bruno. Oh, let's just Palpad both of them, I guess, right? And let's go ahead and, um... We don't want the Manaphy. Let's go ahead and Professors. We'll lose the Rescue Carrier. That's okay. We got another Soul Rock, which is pretty good. Sun Energy on that Lunatone. And we will attach another Energy onto this Lunatone. We got Rescue Carrier. Um... Gotta wait for something to go down real quick. Let's go ahead and uh, hit a Moon Kinesis for Knockout. And we're doing great. Okay. Another energy, okay. So this Lunatone goes out and we bring out our next Lunatone. We Quick Ball for a... Um... Should, do we even Quick Ball? I think we just Cynthia's, right? Yeah. I win the race right now, unless he has a way to knock out two of my Pokemon at once. That's what he needs. Okay. Fakes knockout there, that's fine. Okay, we got another Quick Ball. Let's just Quick Ball the Quick Ball real quick. Grab the Radiant Greninja. Uh, Cynthia's. Got another battle VIP pass. Assuming Heavy Ball. Nothing. Great. Let's go ahead and Sun Energy U. Sun Energy U. Sun Energy U. Patch and Energy. Uh huh. And let's just uh, hit another Moon Kinesis. Just keep it going. Just keep it. Keep the knockouts coming. Just give it to me. All right, one more. Only way he he needs three prizes, though. I don't think there's any way he can win, unless he can knock out three Pokemon right here. Let's see it. Big three Pokemon sweep. He doesn't have it. GG's, well played, man. Lot of mirror matches. This deck is highly popular. It was cool seeing it with a Mewtwo, though. That was kind of cool. And there's the game, GG's. Nice. Training court comes into play. That's fine for us, actually. We could Pokestop and see if he takes the bait and throws away a bunch of useful cards. Let's battle VIP. Let's grab one Lunatone. Let's grab two Soul Rocks. Uh, one Soul Rock. Okay. Let's uh, battle VIP. Let's go ahead and grab uh, both my Soul Rocks. Let's go ahead and attach the Choice Spell. Let's go ahead and Escape Rope. Let's go ahead and attach the energy. Let's go ahead and trekking shoes. Choice spell, no. We got the Pokestop, let's drop the Pokestop in. Let's go ahead and hit that. We got another Battle VIP and a Quick Ball. Battle VIP, let's grab the link. Wait, is this a bench attacking thing? Hold on, let me let me try to remember real quick how this works. Um, yeah, we'll just grab the loot, it doesn't really matter, okay. We got a quick ball, it doesn't really help us though. Yeah, we just need a cycle draw. Let's go ahead and discard the quick ball. That kind of sucks, but what you gonna do? We have Cynthia's as well as the professors. Okay, this doesn't kill here, luckily. But I need to hit it at least once before going down, so I can do 150 damage to it. So that way this Lunatone has a better chance of knocking it out. I shouldn't have got rid of that quick ball, I need another Lunatone. Got Rescue Carrier in hand, that kind of sucks. Pokestop. Hisuian, Heavy Ball, and Quick Ball. It's Hisuian. Let's grab the Lunatone, because I need one right now. Um, let's go ahead and Sun Energy onto you. Is that all I have for Sun Energies? That's a real bummer right there. Anyway, we only wanted to hit it once, right? Let's just go ahead and hit a Moon Kinesis for 150 damage. 
He's going to take Knockout on this. He might use Max Phantom and then put 5 down on this Lunatone. And if that happens, we might be in a bit of a conundrum. Then he can just kind of do whatever he wants, right? But if we take... We only have to take out these two cards to win. And we're already well on our way of doing so. I don't want to get rid of this Rescue Carrier. And we will have three energies in the discard. We will be hitting for 120. That's not enough damage, though. I need a little bit more energy. We might have to... We might have to Professor's Research. All right. What does he do? He should be putting it on one of my Soul Rocks, the 50. That's what he should do. Yeah, that's smart. Um... This is a problem. Another Professor's. Let's go ahead and just attach as many energies as we can. Let's go ahead and Professor's real quick. Jeez Louise, that's a lot of energies. Let's go ahead, attach an energy there, hit the trekking shoes. We'll take the scoop up net. We will scoop up the soul rock. We will put the soul rock back out. We're hitting for 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. Almost enough damage. Almost enough damage. Okay. So then we just have to hit a concealed cards real quick. And then we could also do sun energy one more time here. Um. And I think we just hit for Moonkinesis. And we take Knockout. Easily. We have turned that around. We do take 20 damage, unfortunately. But we got a Professor's. We got a Choice Spell. And a Soul Rock. Perfect. Okay. How many Rescue Carriers are in here? Just one, right? Okay, we're doing fine. I'm not worried at all. Okay, so you are doing 30... Yeah, with three energies attached alone, he hits uh, high enough to knock out my Lunatone. We bring out this Lunatone, fully attach it, choice belt it, swing. I think that's what well, we need. Another Lun How many Lunatones are in here? Both my Lun... I need a Rescue Carrier really badly right now. All right, he'll take knockout there. That's fine. We'll bring out this Lunatone. Okay, we got a scoop up net. Not exactly what we're looking for. Let's uh, just go ham on attaching energies real quick. Let's go ahead and uh, Pokey Stop. We got a Quick Ball. Let's go ahead and Concealed Cards. I need a Rescue Carrier right now. Let's go ahead and this. Uh, no, I don't want that. Got one anyway. I could boss this 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. I could boss this out. Hmm. I need a rescue carrier. And I might... It might be in the prizes. That's what I'm afraid of right now. Okay, let's bosses the uh, Shadow Calyrex dude out. Sure, whatever. Um, we'll hit for the 150. 180. Oh, dang it. If I put down that Solar Rock, we would have had Knockout, wouldn't we? But then I wouldn't have a uh, another Lunatone spot. Alright, he evolves it. So this Lunatone's probably going down, so we need to stall. Okay, he surrenders. I was in a really bad state, but okay. GG's. I've won every coin flip today. Sometimes it just be like that. Love it. I don't love the rest of my stuff, but it's not bad. How do we get the most draw with this hand? We get a Radiant or a Ninja in hand. Ooh, a Raikou deck. Okay. Not problem. Not problem. Okay, what do we do? This card's an issue. I do not like that card. 
Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Drop an energy there. Let's go ahead and drop the choice belt there. We're going to use Professor, so we're going to discard everything else in the hand anyway. It doesn't really matter what I discard as long as it's not the Professor's. Grab the Radiant Greninja. Slap him down on the bench. Drop the Professor's. Like it's hot. We got a Soul Rock. Very cool. We got a Quick Ball. We can Quick Ball away the... The bosses, I guess. And we can go ahead and grab another Soul Rock. So now we're attacking this turn. We should be, at least. Sun Energy. Go ahead and Concealed Cards real quick. Another Energy there. Battle VIP Pass. Very cool. Let's grab... Both of those. Perfect. Let's go ahead and Sun Energy here. Let's go ahead and play this. What else can we do? Is that it? It looks like it's it. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, Moon Kinesis for 150, I think. 150? Okay. This goes down next turn. 20, 40, 60, 80. Uh, yeah, so he has Knockout as long as he has another Energy in hand right now. But we have the other Lunatone on the bench. We can charge him up really fast. We're in a very good spot to win. Takes Knockout, but we take Knockout next turn for two. We're trading one for two, basically, which is not bad. Drop you there. What do we got? Battle VIP Pass, no longer useful. Drop you there. Go ahead and stun energy to that. One. Two. And then we'll stun energy one to the bench. Because we, we don't need full to knock it out. We'll Professors real quick. See what we draw into. Another Battle VIP Pass. A Pokestop. That's great. Trekking Shoes. Um, nah, I don't really want the Escape Rope. We got a Bruno, a Palpad, Rescue Carrier. We'll use Rescue Carrier next turn when this Lunatone goes down. Um, let's draw. Okay, Quick Ball. That doesn't really help us right here. Let's just hit a Moon Kinesis. Take Knockout, take two prizes. Not bad at all. One, two. Pesuian Heavy Ball, my favorite card. All right, not bad. He brings out the Pink Kerch, and I'm doing how much damage? 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. One more energy, and I have Knockout on the Pink Kerch. I will take a little bit of damage, not a big deal. I hate the Pink Kerch, though. I know that for a fact. He bosses out my Soul Rock. Not a big deal, because I can literally scoop up net. Or I, I'll just scoop up net. Like, why waste energy at this point? It doesn't matter, but whatever. Scoop up net you for you. I should have used his Sun Energy first. Um, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. Sun Energy you. Um, is that all my Sun Energies I got? Hisuian Heavy Ball. We got a Soul Rock in here. All right, not bad. Um, concealed cards. <laughs> I have so many options. What do I do? Go ahead and sun energy to the U. You are now charged. Let's go ahead and take knockout. Easy peasy, dude. We will take a little bit of damage. Imagine if he got knockout off that. That would have been terrible. Scoop up net. And an energy. And he brings out the Pikachu. He doesn't have knockout here. But I do. I don't know about that one, bro. Okay. Um, I guess misplays for days, right? Do that. Do this. Uh, yeah, I want that. Let's go ahead and quick ball. To get rid of that. Let's go ahead and quick ball. To get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> sun energy I want to hit for as hard as I can sun energy sun energy scoop up net oh no I'm out I'm out no that's all I can do okay moon kinesis hit for a whopping 300 <laughs> okay GG's man well played 
Okay, what can I say? This deck worked like butter, smooth. I loved it. I didn't have much use for the mana fee because I didn't be facing out against a lot of bench attackers, but we took down other Soul Rock and Lunatone decks and we took down that Raikou V deck with no problem. We were not worried in the slightest about losing. All you need to do is get that prize card advantage and then just keep taking them. All you gotta do with this deck. Very good, very cheap to make, inexpensive, great budget deck. I like this deck more than I like that Reggie Gigas deck. The Reggie Gigas deck, to be fair, I played horribly. I now understand it better, but I like this deck a lot more. This deck's a lot more simple. You can give this deck to anyone, tell them the game plan, and they can execute. It is consistent. You can consistently get out the mons you want and and let the deck's engine work for you. It is phenomenally great. The only issue with it is the low HP numbers. That's rough. If you don't get enough Soul Rocks out, you can't get your bench set up. That can be a little bit rough. But those are the only two issues, and they are hardly an issue with the Hisuian Heavy Ball, the Battle VIP Pass, the Quick Balls, the Rescue Carriers, the Trekking Shoes, the Professor's Researches, and Radiant Greninja. It's so easy to make it work. Do I think this will be win any regionals or worlds soon? I don't know. I think that people will plan for it, and they will start bringing in a, a fighting attacker, maybe, maybe... I don't know. All I know is that this deck is awesome and you should try it out. You can probably make it with like five packs minimum. I, I, I'd assume Soul Rock go, four Soul Rocks go for one, four Lunatones go for one. I don't, I think Radiant, Ra Radiant Greninja might go for one or two. And then the rest of the trainer cards. Make the deck, take it to the ladder, be the plague that we are. We are the Lab Rats. Take them down, brothers. I salute you on your conquest. Well, trainers, thanks for coming to the lab today. I really do appreciate it. My name has been Professor Howie, as always. Uh, on your way out, if you don't mind wiping your feet on that red subscription button, really does help out the channel, and I really do appreciate it a lot. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.